Hello and welcome in the second part of the Pi Auto GUI tutorials and in this one I will show you how you can use the keyboard with Python. Now what we do when we use the keyboard is basically pressing buttons and although we do it quite often it's still the same action that we do again and again. Now the Pi Auto GUI library has a very nice few functions built in that are related to pressing buttons so we're going to cover them one by one. The simplest one is of course pressing a single button then we will see how we can press multiple buttons one by one then how we can press multiple buttons at the same time and the last function that we will see is how we can hold a button down and then of course release it back up right so let's start first i'm going to import pi auto gui and i'm going to import time I will start with time.sleep1, so I want one second between executing the, the script and seeing the output on the right side of the screen, so we can actually see what's going on. And let's start with pressing a single button. So the built-in function, the, the one that is offered by PyAutoGUI library, is PyAutoGUI.press, and in the brackets we need to specify the key that we want Python to press. So let's say it's the letter M. I don't know why I chose that one, but let's stick with it. We can also specify an uppercase letter. So if I run this, you will notice that Python would correctly press both buttons. And that's pretty much it. Simple as that. However, maybe sometimes you might struggle with a, a button that's not so common. So for example, the, the volume up button or the volume down button or the caps lock button. Now, if you want to know how to specify them in the brackets what you can do is pi auto gui dot keyboard underscore keys note that these are all capital letters enter and then you will get the syntax on how to get to these buttons so for example you will notice that the multiply is just multiply uh, the numbers are num and then the number uh, for example here you will see the volume down or volume mute button and these are of course all correct words that you can use to access those keys. Next, pressing multiple buttons one by one. Well, when we press multiple buttons one by one, what we do is we type or we write. And that's exactly the name of the function. So pyautogui.type write. And in the brackets, it takes two arguments. First is what we want Python to write. So let's say it's hello, so the words the word or words or the characters that are in here is the buttons that Python will press. And the second parameter is interval, which is the time between characters that Python takes. So in this case, we have five characters. So there's four stops in between each and it would take 0.25 seconds for each. So it would take one second for Python to, to type the five characters to press those four buttons. And if I run this, what you will notice on the right side is that you, you can notice Python writing the word slowly. And of course you can have this any, any number, you can have 10 seconds in between if you want, you can have a point, point 0.1, that's also fine. And uh, knowing how many spaces, how many pauses you have between letters, which is just the length of whatever you have in here, minus one, you can time the time that Python would take to write everything in here. So for example, if you have uh, the text, um, let's say, hello there, sir. And then we can have the length of the text, which is let's say length of the text. And we want that to be written in, let's say seconds is equal to three seconds. Then what we can do is here, we can specify the text. We want that to be written. And the interval would be basically the number of seconds divided by length and then again so length minus one and if i run this basically python takes a look oh, hello uh, takes a look at the length of this it subtracts one because we have one less pause and it takes the number of seconds that we want and it prints it out like that. So 
it will take three seconds to print hello there sir and of course we can just modify this to one or 10 or 15 or whatever we want also change the text so that would be all related to pressing multiple buttons one by one but how do we press multiple buttons at the same time well we no longer need this section of the code but we do need by outer GUI dot hot key now what this function does is basically in the brackets we specify the keys that we want python to press at the same time but it presses it down from left to right so for example if we have shift and then let's say m and then let's say o and then another o maybe no. that's woo well what python would do is it would press the shift then it would press m then o and then let's see what happens because we have the same character twice and what you will notice is that we only get it once why well that button is already pressed down so we can't get move we would just get mode but if we had for example uh, n I don't know, k and we run this you will see that it would spell it correctly out and what python does in this case is it goes from left to right so it presses shift then presses the m then o and k and then it releases them backwards now this part we can't see of course in the output but that's what's happening in the background now lastly what we can also do is instead of having let's say this part what we can do is we can have pi outer gui dot key down note that the d that one is uppercase and in the brackets we would want to specify the key so let's say the shift key we want python to keep down then we want to buy auto GUI to press the lowercase m and what we ex would expect is a uppercase m and lastly we want buy auto GUI dot key up so we don't want python to keep the shift button down and if i run this you will notice that we get a capital m so this is how you hold the button down and of course release it back up and that would be all related to this tutorial of course using the keyboard is fairly simple and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any question or comment leave it in the comment section if you want to suggest some tutorials again leave it in the comments and i will see you in